Anyone that's ever been blessed to own a Yamaha Virago like this know about the starter issues with it. The gear grinds, it makes all kinds of noise sometimes, doesn't engage, you gotta bump it a couple times. There's a lot of tips and tricks on replacing this and repairing it, buying a new gear and all that stuff. But there are no tips like the one I'm about to tell you right now. It's gonna blow your mind and save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle. Let's go over here and look at it. This is your starter gear right here. This is the main thing that contacts the flywheel right here with the little stop guy attached to it. And you can see the side that's been mostly used is real, tune up on, real chewed up on it. It's pretty much at a 45 degree angle at this point right there. You see that? Okay, now what a lot of people will do, buy, buy a new gear. They're, they can be actually pretty expensive if you want to buy a new one. They can be pretty expensive. <laughs> Nobody has seemed to realize that Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. You can simply flip this gear around and use the fresh side of it that hasn't been used yet to chew up your flywheel. <laughs> so you can just flip it around and use the new side of it. So normally this is how this gear goes in. You got this little clip guy on the outside facing this way and the starter hits this gear, spins this worm gear type of deal and throws it out into the flywheel okay you can see that these edges are all chewed up chewed up here I can't say chewed up today but we can literally pull this out and flip that around and there's enough space here they pretty much engineered it I think to be reversible because this all the spacing is the same so just flip it around let me show you what that looks like so I went ahead and pulled this gear out and just flipped it around and stuck it in there you can see it fits fine. Doing this one handedly is not very easy. And then we can put that in there, get this on it, boom. Then we gotta get that gear behind it on there. But as you can see, either way, it's not on there all the way. This one isn't. You gotta get that gear back there. But it still works the exact same way. And it looks like at one time someone actually had flipped it around. They used this side a little bit. And then what happens, the guy I got it from, they uh, they put a new brand new starter on it and he tried to RTV this instead of using a gasket which is obviously not what you want to do so I'm replacing put a new gasket on it right now but he must have put it in back the other way someone had already flipped it around and hey well, I'm, I'm putting it back where it was where someone else had it so this is the ultimate Virago starter tip right here now something else you're going to want to do, check this dampener on your gear here. This is what slows this down and pulls it off the flywheel. And the better this works, the, be the tighter this is on here, it, it pulls it off the flywheel faster and saves it from wearing down as fast and keeps it from making as much racket as it comes back in. And what I've seen people do, if, it, if yours is not tight, if, if you can move it around really easily, you can put... Um, a zip tie or something right around there and squeeze it just squeeze it a little harder on there give it a little bit more tension and that will help it pull back a little sooner so zip, I think a zip tie or might want to use a stainless steel one or something they make those stainless steel zip ties something like that put it on there but I think this one's pretty good though I don't think I'm gonna need to do that the main problem with this one was engaging and that's because the 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 two the teeth are so worn off on the one side that was being used they're pretty worn down so flip it around it's probably gonna start like new now <laughs>